Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Hadrico Live. But today, we're doing a little bit different. Today, guess what? It's just me and you. It's just you and Hadrico, man. We're going to have a little conversation, man. We're going to talk about some of the things that are going on in the world. And I'm going to give you Hadrico's take. So as we get into these things, I'm going to provide the feedback. But the comment section is always there for you. You got a good comment? Type it down. You got a good topic? Put it down, and it can be on the next episode of Hadrico Live as we talk to y'all one on one. Boom! Cue the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Hadrico Live. Hadrico Live. Hadrico Live. Hadrico. Hadrico. Hadrico Live. Hadrico Live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Hadrico Live. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get down to the get down. First off, we want to introduce you to the newest producer to the Hadrico Live family, man. Chad Reed's in the building, and Chad's going to be feeding us some good topics that we're going to get right into, and I'm going to just give you Hadrico's take. This is live, uncut, unfiltered, unadulterated. This is how I feel on these topics, and these are my viewpoints. Spoken truly from the one, the only, Hadrico Live. So, Chad, man, what you got for me coming up first, man? What, what we talking about, man? What, what we getting into? All right, number one on the playlist is the infamous Justin Bieber. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. So, unless you've been living underneath a rock... You don't know that the Las Vegas Raiders have just replaced their head coach, John Gruden, for some emails that he sent to a member of the Washington Redskins 10 years ago. And the comments that he said, let me first off state state that I don't stand behind the comments. And you have to be careful what you say because you can offend people. And we live in the time where offending somebody can be easily done. And I'm not justifying the comments that he made. I'm not saying what he said was right. But I am going to say this. Whether there is somebody that has that type of conversation, I think it's real funny how the NFL says we're not going to release any more emails. Now, let me ask you this question. When you have conversations with your friends, y'all have a certain level of communication. Point number one, John Gruden gets fired. For something that happened when he wasn't even an employee of the NFL that happened 10 years ago. And how does a probe on the Washington Redskins behavior and he's the one that gets ousted? Make sense to you? Don't make no sense to me because it goes a little deeper. Let's 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 take the point two. like I said, when you're having that conversation with your friend. So if I have a conversation with my best friend, when I say, hey, man, I can't stand such and such and such. Or we're talking about this, this, and this. This is because me and this individual have had these type conversations before. And this is not the first time that we've talked like this. And I assure you, if I had enough comfortability, I make words up all the time, y'all, to send an email like this to him, what was the reply? That's the real question. Where was the, the reply back to John? Because if John sent this to Bruce Allen, I guarantee This wasn't the first time they sent these type emails, and I guarantee Bruce Allen had something else to say. But the problem is the NFL has found this way to say, you know what? No more emails were implicating of anybody. Close the case. Man, look, people was born at night, not last night. Ain't no way in the hell and over 65,000, 100, a billion emails that they had. You're going to tell me that nobody said nothing that can be incriminating against anybody else? NFL, we're not dumb. I know y'all take a lot of money from us, but we're not idiots. Now, what I think happened, this is Hadrico's take. I think one of them owners, Mr. Dan Snyder, or somebody else that was high up on them levels, said something they weren't supposed to in one of his emails. And what the NFL cannot do, they cannot afford for their precious shield to take that type of blow for one of their owners. See, it ain't no fun when the rabbit get the gun. And now the rabbit has a gun, and they trying to get away with it. But fortunately... New development, and we definitely going to bring this topic back up. Congress don't got involved. And now Congress said, no, 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 no. 
you're going to show us all the emails. See, because the NFL, when they want to expose something, when Ray Rice had his drama, and they leaked, they showed the videotape, they showed everything. When any other NFL player gets in trouble, they want to release all the facts. They want to show you the shit, so you can see why they did what they did. But now that that rabbit got the gun, they want to hide it. But luckily, Congress has stepped in. So this John Gruden email saga, oh, this is just a prequel. This is just the beginning. I bet more heads will roll, especially once Congress starts diving through these emails. Now, is a bigger question is, with all the problems we got on in the world, why does Congress got time to go through these emails? That's for another time <laughs> and another topic. But for my man, John Gruden, hey, you got to be careful what you write. They had said, it, look, your mama told us when you was a kid, what's done in the dark, <laughs> it's going to come to the light. And unfortunately, you put it in writing on an email 10 years ago, and it has came, and it has bit you. And you do owe some people some apologies, but I'm sure this is one of those times, apologies, it just ain't going to get it, man. 